In addition to their horrendous taste, Brandt's chain amino acid supplements are a complete waste of time. They're a total waste of money. Unless you're not getting enough protein in your diet, and why would you not have enough protein in your diet as someone who engages in intense training? And if you don't engage in intense training, you're definitely not protein deficient because you don't even need as much protein as those of us who train hard. Most people overdo protein, especially sedentary people. I often hear sedentary people talking about making sure they're getting all the protein they need. For what, for flipping channels on the TV? for going from one Netflix show to another, for walking to your mailbox. I have people on my street who drive to their fucking mailbox. So their, their protein needs are even lower. If you're, if you're getting enough protein, which is one gram per kilo, that's for people that are active. Okay, that's the baseline. And then maybe you go 20, 40 grams above that, but that's the baseline. Then you don't need to add essential amino acid supplements or branch chain amino supplements. There's no benefit whatsoever of just pouring a lot of branch chain aminos or essential amino acids on top of it when your protein require, when your protein needs are met. Taking it before bedtime is not going to increase protein synthesis or muscle synthesis and improve and, in, and have some kind of anti-catabolic effect. It will not. Taking 20 to 30 grams of branch chain aminos in your workout water for what, a 30 to 45 minute workout? You really think you're that depleted where you're going to go to that? And if you're fasting and you're taking branch chain aminos or essential amino acids, you're just going to convert most of that into glucose, which is going to cause insulin resistance. It's funny, there are actually studies on branch chain amino acids which show that high amounts actually increase insulin resistance. There's no carbohydrates whatsoever. Carbohydrates is always demonized. But branch chain amino acids are converted into glucose when your body is deprived of it. So if you're in this fasted state, you, you don't consume anything. No coffee, no branch chain amino acids. Anything you consume takes you out of that state. They're like, well, coffee doesn't have any calories. Coffee also increases cortisol. When you're fasting, your cortisol levels are already going to go up to pull glucose out of stored body fat. And then if you go way too long to pull it from muscles. So why would you want to increase cortisol further by taking coffee in a fasted state? Let's not dick around with fasting. If you're, if you're actually fasting, it means water and that's it. You're not taking a bunch of supplements. <laughs> Some people are like, well, I put butter in my coffee when I fast. You're not fucking fasting anymore, motherfucker. You're putting a meal's worth of dietary fat in a cup of coffee. I'd rather have fat in the context of my meal. But I digress. Let's stay on point. Branch chain aminos suck. They're a waste of money. 